Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate. And I'm Amazing from Amazing Gaming. And tonight Ooh. we are in Dragon Adventures, but there's something a little special about tonight. We are... Zoom in now. Oh, wait. Zoom. Zoom, out. Zoom, out. Zoom out. Zoom out. Zoom out. Here we go. You've got the creators. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's the creators. <laughs> Yay. 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 We're playing with Mary, a.k.a. Arithia. Is, yep. And uh, Sam, alert code. Hi. The creators of the game. So welcome, welcome. We've both agreed that my name sounds cooler whenever you call me code, so we're just gonna call him alert, okay? That way there's no confusing and saying code, and then both of us be like, what? <laughs> so <laughs> Alert, alert! Code, code. <laughs> code, code alert, alert, code alert. It's a code, code alert. alert. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, because Mummy is more about designs and, oh my gosh, my dragons are like, uh, because Mummy here. is more about designs and I'm more about code, um, Mummy's probably going to be talking to Erythia. Mary is going to be talking to Mary. That works too. And then I will be uh, asking questions to uh, alert. But basically, we just wanted to come in here and tell you how amazing and how awesome and how lovely and crazily like addicting your game is. Oh, totally, isn't it? Very addictive. And if you're not playing this, this I mean, to me, this is a new Pokemon Go. I mean, this is a new Pokemon, but way better. Do you see that? Enough. Wait, wait. <laughs> I just got thrown I'm off the edge. Flopping. I'm doing this cool, dappy little flip-flop walk over my crystals. There we Ooh. go. I'm back. I'm back. Nothing to see here. Okay. <laughs> Better than Pokemon. So there, there's one thing that I've noticed that if you happen to be on a dragon and then you jump off too quickly before it like has a chance to like walk or do anything, you get a weird like body movement force where if you jump in the air, you get thrown 20 feet. Yeah, so that's actually an issue with Roblox humanoids, and during our internship, I spoke with an engineer about it, and uh, they're working on reproducing it. It happens whenever there's a part that is a child of a character, and it is not anchored, so it's a moving. Oh, okay, so the physical, physical properties of that object that is not an anchored part, it still takes on physical properties, so if it's moving really fast, and then all of a sudden it's attached to a person... Like yeah, same. sometimes it just kind of like adds some weird force to your character that I believe is trying to be applied to the part, but it's actually doing it to the entire assembly, which your character is included. Gotcha. Um, real quick suggestion. When you reset, can you anchor the humanoid, put it back to the teleport, and then unanchor it after you've set the velocity to like zero? Are you having issues where like you fall through the map and then you just keep falling when you teleport or something? Yeah, if you teleport, it teleports you back, but like really high in the air with a velocity going straight down. So you slam into the ground and then you flip flop all over the place. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely something that's doable. That's actually done with the dragons when they fall from some extreme heights. They don't like fling into the ground if you just go from flying to stop. It. But uh, <laughs> it doesn't happen with the characters yet. Awesome. Uh, okay, let's do. I'm going to go ahead and unequip my dragons and get them out of the way. Uh, <clears throat> so there was a, a Hydra in here earlier. Did we... Can we see that again? Yeah, that was my Hydra. I'll go ahead and equip it again. There we are. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this has got the most beautiful texture of any dragon I have seen. This one. Look at it. Look at the texture of the skin and the wings and... Marvel. Has this got all of the mutations on it? Mine or, yeah. doesn't have any mutations on it, actually. It what, just uh, has a, a material potion, and through using material potions, you can get, like, cobblestone, or people are calling them ghost dragons, where it's actually force field, but it makes them look invisible. Wow. And oh, you can only awesome. get what, that with the potions. I'll mm, have to yeah. try that. And the code behind it's just a random enumeration of materials. Pretty much, yeah. We've locked um, we've locked it so you can only get three from regular breathing and such, and then anything beyond that is totally random. With the and if you want to buy a potion, you come over here to the shop, come down here to the special, and then boom, your secondary material is right there. Yep. So, 
It's been more Tertium Robux. Killer, By Game Pass. 50,000. Oh, I don't quite have enough, but I'm going to test it right now on my Hydra. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I've got nothing to harvest. I'll have to wait. Oh, I'll have to wait a little longer. But, uh, oh, here, hold on. Hold on. Um, I'm going to show the fans real quick. Head home. This is how you harvest crystals. <laughs> so. You have a crazy amount. Yeah, basically, and you can do this too. All you have to do is spend the next three days to constantly grind at every opportunity with free moments in uh, the volcano layer, or, or the new the new um, tundra layer, and just get as many crystals as you can. It takes 100 crystals, uh, revive crystals, to create one of these. And as you see here, I have 100 crystal plants. So, and then mummy, I'm gonna let you talk to them while I collect and get some months. Oh, nice. You're going to collect. All right. Um, okay. I did have a question from one of the viewers, actually, which I might throw to you guys already. Let me just see if I can bring it up. Uh, do, 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 do. Let me go down a little bit. What? Wow. It has disappeared. Never mind. Maybe oh, it's on my YouTube channel. <laughs> we are professional YouTubers, promise. <laughs> <laughs> I can't actually. I'll terminate yeah. right now, um, so I can't go to my um, <laughs> my YouTube channel and look at the question. Because, actually, maybe I can. Let's have, have a look. Well, my first question was going to be, how do you pronounce your name? Which we've discussed, and um, that's uh, Erythia. And then that's because I always mess it up whenever I'm trying to do videos and talk about you. So, and then um, I did have a question that was asked to me uh, about the joining on private servers, like the grouping. Right. So how it works right now is each private server will reserve different servers when you join up. So when people are in the same lobby world, they can teleport to the same uh, instance when they teleport together, but when they leave that instance, they'll go elsewhere. So, like, they won't rejoin the same private server that they started in. That's crazy. Yeah, so it gets kind of mixed up when you teleport to and from the world a little bit right now. Uh, but there, you are working on a fix for eventually? Yeah, ideally, the entire process of joining and following friends is going to get streamlined over time. Nice. Um, can I have a dragon called Code Primate? Uh, you can rename your dragon. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Especially textured with my face. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. A question from Signy Moonpie SSO asks: I would like to ask Erythia if trading is going to come out and when. So we've actually already confirmed trading since day one. Um, Sam and I, we already have the majority of. Uh, trading actually already done it just needs to be tested and we need to make sure there's no flaws or stuff where people can dupe their items um, right now we're just waiting for our economy to settle a little bit more because you know these crystals sell for 250 and I might nerf that a little bit so I just want to get to a point where we don't have to change around the cost of items and how much you can sell items for yeah. And I'm thinking that we'll probably release trading in a few weeks, possibly with one of the new worlds that we plan on adding in the future. Okay. That sounds good. So, wait, you're going to nerf the crystal farm? Yes. Slightly. Uh, just slightly. Why would you do that to me? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, hold on. Don't nerf it yet because I'm about to sell some off. Hold on. Resources. Yeah. <laughs> If we do, it won't be for like another few days. I'm fine with people farming off of them right now. I just got 25,000. We. <laughs> I'm going to do a lot of farming. Oh, wow. Look at this. It's got the invisible thing. Yeah. So if you look at this one, this one actually has the force field. It's a little glitchy because the rest of it isn't force field yet, but it, yeah. it looks invisible. Oh, I love it. It's amazing. I am totally going to try uh, do a random texture on my Hydra Oops. and see yeah. what we get. Um, and 
in the shop, you do see the secondary material potion, and that's really expensive. It's 50,000 coins because it's targeted towards the secondary material. But mm -hmm. you can actually find shuffle potions for 10,000 coins that change all the materials. So it's cheaper that way as well. Oh, yeah. Jeez. That is very cool. Got <laughs> <laughs> All right. And I actually have um, a request. Actually, I don't know if you can do this, but when you go to your dragon inventory and you see all your beautiful dragons there, you see the, the name they've been given or the name you've changed it to, you see what gender they are and what type of dragon they are, would it be possible to put a border around those to signify the elemental class they come from? So if it's a, um, Indicating a that they're grass equipped. dragon... No, 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 no. Sorry. No. Indicating um, their type. So if it's a grass dragon, for instance, it might have a green border around it. Or if it's a fire dragon, it'll have a red border. Lava might be like a hot neon orange. Or an ocean might be teal. A water might be blue. An ice might be light blue. That sort of thing. That would be pretty cool. Yeah. Also, we've taken so much space of the dragon IDs already. Um, but I think we can maybe do something in the lower left corner, even that could just be a little icon of what type they are. Mm. Um, I know yes. that Sam and I do want to do dragon sorting, so you'd be able to sort by genders or most recent um, in the future as well. Yes. That's awesome. Yes. Yay. <gasps> oh, by the way, mm. on all of these, I see the label above it. Yeah, it's just that's, for the crystals, that's right? That's my fault. <laughs> 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 um, something I would love to see is when I click on shop where it says like Apple 20 coins I would love to see how many I own just below that that way I don't have to click into each item to go and through and figure out which ones I can sell uh, and I don't have to like switch over to inventory so I can see oh I only have like revive crystals and meat right yeah so in the shop not sure if it's easy to tell, but like the the text on the cards themselves are a little bit cluttered. So I'm looking into ways to reorganize that so we can display more information without people having to click on the prompt. I would so do uh, Cur Courier New is a great font. Just use you know mono text. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, let's see what what else. What was another caveat? Um, quest. Are you going to be adding quests like collect 10 apples or bring 10 bones to a specific user? Um, I think I can answer this question. Uh, very early on, we wanted to do quests and I think we still want to do them. But also, I want to get in all of our major features like trading and parties and guilds. I want to get all of those in just because I feel like those are slightly more core elements than going on quests. But definitely, I, I still want to do quests. And I, I think that'll be more of a long-term or mid-term type of goal. Mm -hmm. Sam, what, what do you think? Yeah, so quests haven't really been talked about too much since the uh, initial planning of the game. There were a few different features that were kind of put on the backlog as well because we only had like between two and a half to three months to actually work on our game at Robo. So there are a few things that are kind of still coming out and being polished, and we definitely need to like sit down and discuss things that were initially put on the backlog like Quest. Sweet. That's cool. So out of, um, out of everything you've done so far, you guys are two-thirds the way through your internship, is that right? Uh, we finished our internship a couple weeks ago, so now we're both at home and in different time zones. So coordinating is a little bit difficult. Gotcha. And you're not constant like every day you wake up and you Roblox. It's it's back to normal right. life and stuff. Okay, understood. And um, so when developing the game, when creating this thing from scratch and everything else, I know that whenever I program or I do code stuff like that there's certain aspects to the thing that I'm creating that I'm like oh man I loved that piece of code but nobody actually sees it because it's like on the back end so right. during, during this game what was your favorite piece that you programmed or that you scripted that 
people might not see because they play the game and they, they don't see the code? So that's a pretty good question. Uh, we've got a lot of backend stuff that I could choose from, but overall I think uh, it's still pretty user-facing, and that would be the flight. So I got to refine that a lot, and it feels pretty satisfying to fly, but uh, cumulatively a lot of experience that I have gotten from developing on Roblox over the last like six or seven years was put into flight, and that was prototyped and redone a couple different times, and it's pretty much the core element of the gameplay other than like reading so definitely pretty happy with how that turned out but it's not exactly easy to show people how that looked and what kind of effort went into it are you guys looking at putting another class of elements above the highest ones that are already existing right now of course <laughs> i i think as long as the game exists i will always be coming up with more and more complex elements and I never want to release too many at one time, so mm -hmm. we give people enough time to get the one that we just released. That's good. As she runs by yeah. with her butterfly dragons. Yeah, no, you gotta <laughs> like cookie crumb it. Give them a little something now and then keep them going for a bit and then when the time is right you drop another little cookie crumb. Mm -hmm. That's kind of cool. Um... Okay, so I know that, um, Mary, you designed the dragons themselves, right? Like yes, the builder I did. behind them? Right. Yep. So, um, what was your favorite so far, building wise? Hmm. Well, I stream most of the development of the dragons, and I think so far the Hydra was probably my favorite. Just having everybody in my stream seeing it come to life when I would copy and paste the heads over and when I put the wings on there the chat just went crazy I was like do you guys want wings and everybody was like oh yeah <laughs> so the wings weren't intentional but they happened and it has I don't know three heads it was really hard to animate and build and rig together but I'm really happy with the end product so would it <laughs> You want, oh, sorry. you want to give Mimi and Mummy a, a Hydra? Just, uh, do you got that command? Is that available? Oi! <laughs> <laughs> We've got the developers, like, right here. I'm, you know. I know, but don't take advantage of an <laughs> awesome opportunity. Can oh I have my gosh. Points? <laughs> <laughs> well, well yeah, have, when you nerf yeah. the, uh, the crystals, can, can you give me 10 mil? Oh, man. Come, just run <laughs> right now. Hush, hush, hush. hush. <laughs> I'm totally being a noob. <laughs> Can I have Robux? <laughs> friend me! Why, why friend don't you me. just ask for infinity um, texture changes and color change potions <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> while you're at it? <laughs> that was something I did have a question about. Um, would, like, there's, there's the ability to purchase a watermelon inside the shop, or I can purchase seeds to create uh, a watermelon plant. Will you put right. in the ability to say create a texture change potion given like a quest item or a hidden item bringing it back with so many of them growing a plant or putting up a table of some kind that would be able to produce that for you say given amount of time i think that is a potential update just because you know the crystals were added and they give their own unique max survive crystal that can be sold um i I do think that there could be more rewarding farming items in the future where it would take quite a while to grind for the item, but in the end it would be very useful or sold for a decent amount. Otherwise, uh, I think right now we want to focus on getting a few more types of potions just so the specialty shop is a little bit bigger because it only shows three of the items right now. Gotcha. Yeah, we definitely want to incentivize adding on to your base right now because up until recently bases were mostly cosmetic and with some of the recent additions to the game we're actually seeing people like make these grind heavy super farming bases like yours with the crystals and we want to add some more dynamic how about savable slots or different configurations that is not really anything we've talked about yet but we do have that in some of our other games when it comes to customization, so it's not out of the realm of possibility. <laughs> so I can, 
I can start working on like purchasing a whole bunch of uh, watermelon plants. <laughs> that, that's my next goal. You guys know that, right? Like, I'm going to start working on getting a whole bunch of watermelon seeds. It takes 15 watermelon seeds to create a plant, and those cost, what is it, 25000 Yes, they do. So, They're very expensive right now. I could get one plant every... Oh, I could get one seed every 30 minutes because the production of gold from the farm is 25,000. So one seed every 30 minutes for 15 times. Okay, Google. What is 15 times 30? The answer is 450. So in 450 minutes, I could have one watermelon plant. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> so. Right now you can before it's nerfed. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Don't nerf him, please, no! He's giving us ideas for things to nerf right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why are we doing that? Oh my gosh. I can't remember, I was going to ask a really good question and it's gone now. I think I'm can. sorry. <laughs> we really should have, like, planned this out better with questions and done, like, a Q&A. I'm sure they would love to do another one of these sometime, yes? Yeah, I think... Oh yeah, I don't mind. That for it. Yay! <laughs> uh, that's awesome. I do remember the next question I was going to ask, and you've touched on this briefly about seasonal events and things that are going to be going on. Now, Christmas is only a, a few months away now. Are you planning anything for Christmas this year? I've had some thoughts of, you know, what I might want to do for Halloween, but Christmas, I think I might want to do some kind of special event with the tundra, just because it is a snow world, and Mm -hmm. It fits in perfectly with Christmas, but I would want all those special events to be kind of like Easter eggs. Like, I won't leak any of what I've done for those worlds, and people will just go out and find it for themselves and spread it to each other. That's a brilliant idea. That is so good. Well, since you're doing that, you want to show us a secret right now? I don't have the secret right now, but we have something in development right now and we're going to drop it sometime in the next week or so. But we're not going to tell anybody. Whoever finds it first is going to release it, I guess. <laughs> um, actually, we um, both, Kona, I imagine, Code, you would agree that we appreciate that kind of thought process because uh, the other game that we are pretty big on, Number Tycoon 2, uh, created by Josh mm -hmm. Defaultio. Defaultio. Mm -hmm. He's very. He is the same kind of thing. He he wants the fans to figure it out. He doesn't like to reveal things in the game, and it makes it more exciting. So yeah, we, lo we totally love appreciate that. that. We love it. If you happen to make mechanical puzzles or physical puzzles where you have to take things and put them other places to like unlock specific areas, we love those. Those as well. But don't tell anybody about it. Just do it and like hide it somewhere, because that's the most fun. Is like oh, they updated. What did they change? Nobody says anything. Mm. Then everyone's like going through the game and trying to figure it out. And then when someone finds it, yeah, absolutely, you are right. Hey, yeah. uh, real quick alert. Um, can you fly over here with me? You got a dragon. Yeah. Right Hold on. Let me just grab one. Dude, bubblegum color is nice. Yep. So, right in here. I better beat this dragon on my shoulder. Do you see the health bar straight below? Yeah. What is that? So, uh, on Roblox, if you parent something to the starter GUI and it's a billboard, it will just kind of display itself at the origin of the entire world right now, unless you disable it. So... That's kind of weird, and I think it's a bug, but it's been around for so many years now that I don't think it's going to get changed. <laughs> so that right there is actually the dragon and mob health bar. That's just like, it's the template one that each one gets when it's spawned. Gotcha, okay. <clears throat> so yeah. it's the original that was created, and the ones that are getting created on our, our dragons are just clones. Yeah. Got it. That makes more sense. Have you have you taken a look at my crystals yet? 
I have. I have been to your insane crystal farm. <laughs> that is... I mean, we designed our economy for, you know, situations like that, but seeing it actually happen is like another story. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, and this is this is much time. Like, I, did, I don't normally spend this much time on a Roblox game, but your guys' game, for some reason, I just, I couldn't stop. I had to make every crystal for my farm. That was crazy. <laughs> so. It's awesome to see people doing stuff like that and being really dedicated to the game. Oh. <laughs> label, label, label. Kind of makes oh, me want to add a harvest all button. That would be great. That would. That would be amazing. Yeah. Yes. Please. Yes. Harvest all. Yeah. In fact, right. um, maybe even a machine that says auto harvest, and then you could come over to the auto harvest, and it could be playing offline, and you know, calculating how much time it could take. And auto harvest everything that would, for you. That would definitely be cool. It brings some more like farm bill esque elements to the game. Don't ever do that. That is the worst idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm do, I'm gonna call one of my dragons singer just just because you said that. Now, and I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna bring it out every time I play with you, code. Singer's here. <laughs> Say hi to Zynga. <laughs> well, um, shall we go adventuring somewhere? You guys want to go fish? Yeah. Yeah, well, I actually haven't been to the tundra yet. If both of you have it, I haven't yes. gotten to explore. You've not yeah. been to the... Didn't you make it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I only tested it by myself, so it's different. I'm done. So do we all have to jump in at the same time, or...? So because we're friends, there's a side menu on the right that will let us follow each other. Uh, yeah. Alerts so, not my friend. Uh, I sent a friend request. We're doing collab. Yes. And Hello, new friend. Send friend request. There we go. Yay! Now we're all friends. Okay, all right. so okay. just... Who wants, who wants to go first? Uh, uh, I'm on my way. All on my all way. Alright. <clears throat> Wait, I just... Teleporting now. I just clicked on you before you teleported. Now I'm going back to the lobby. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. What? Oh no. That's a bug. Guess where I ended up? Where did you end up? In the tro in the um the um tutorial island? <gasps> How did I'm you do it? I'm on tutorial island. <laughs> I can't That's believe an it. Interesting bug. I've never had experienced that before. <clears throat> There's someone that's just going through right now. I'm just going to say. Just, I just got kicked. It says, please check your internet to, connection and try again. You love the game. Yeah, that okay. happened to me too. But uh, unfortunately, that one is not my bug. That's a Roblox. <laughs> I'm going to hit reset character you, for a second. You know why it disconnected Ooh, me? Because you didn't program it. That's what it is. See? Right. Yep. Oh, I got flung. <laughs> wow, I'm spinning. Oh, I couldn't go to the tundra because I didn't buy it. <laughs> I just bought it. If you had a trading system, I can give you some money. I've got a crystal farm. Uh, uh, code. Uh, um, yeah. Yeah. Just look at your coins, buddy. 48,000. Oh, uh, okay. Why? Oh, nothing. Wait, what? What, what? Uh, uh, um, did I get farm? Um, what? I, I don't know what happened to my coins. What happened to yeah, my so coins? Yeah, so there's just um, an error that stopped the rest of your client from loading, probably. So it will just show you having like a ridiculous amount of coins. And yeah, it's I just do. a default. Yeah. So it's it's not actually physically there. It's just no, like... it's not actually there. Dang it! I thought you guys were being nice. <laughs> <laughs> Go check your coins. I'm like, All yeah, right. it's still at 48. What? <laughs> All right. So, um, how about <gasps> I failed to connect to game? Connection failed attempt 279. So the first error code was 277. The second one is 279. I'm having trouble going to the tundra as well. All right, I'm going to go to the tundra. 
So let's see if I can get there. <laughs> Have you guys been to the tundra before? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. We were in and out of it all last night. It was crazy. I'm just gonna assume this is like some weird Roblox teleport service issue then, because yeah, How many I people can fit in. What How was many that? People can Okay, yeah. I'm coming back in. I've been kicked twice. Okay. okay, I got into the same server as you guys without following you, so that's definitely a plus. I didn't. <laughs> Rip. Full? Wait, we maybe I did. But does the base change? Uh. Oh. I'm looking at the names above the things. No, nope, I'm not in any of your guys' base. <clears throat> no, no, because we're already in the... We've already left the home right. base, and we're now already in the tundra. So just go to the teleport okay. and click on, click on me, and then hopefully you should just go straight to the tundra. Okay, okay. Uh, teleport. There we go. Wow, um, the force field is really bright here. There we go. Ooh. Here we go. Okay, I can see you on the leaderboard now. Alert coder F. It doesn't say you're my friend. Oh, wait. No, no. It's not loaded yeah. all the way. Yeah. So. And then where's mummy? Okay, so I've got mummy. Okay, I'm there. Yay. Yay. Mummy, you're Yay, level 57. Awesome. Uh, I, I don't, I'll not say I don't play that much, really. <laughs> 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 I'm sure there's people higher the level than me. Right, right. <laughs> there are, but not in the server. Oh, uh, mm -hmm. by the way, I'm going to give a big shout out to uh, Pause Draws, who is another big fan of your game. Um, she makes videos, but she doesn't use voice or anything like that. So, shout out to Pause Draws for making videos because I've gone and watched some of her things that she's done. And she talks a lot about the uh, the breeding and a lot of the stuff that's talked about inside the wiki. So I didn't want to forget that. Oh, is she the one who does like the update compilation video? Yes. Those were really cool. Yeah, Mary and I have watched a few of those. Yeah, I think those are our favorite to like peek on and see what people are saying in the comments about it. Mommy's got a Hydra? I got three Hydras. <laughs> I got two from the world, and I bred them together because I got both a male and female. So now I have the baby one. Cross between the two. So which two. which combination? I'll figure it out later. I'll figure out the combinations. <clears throat> I have not I gotten gotten a wild one yet. So this is actually my first time in the public server on the tundra, also. So. Oh, nice. You can I go around don't... Here. Yeah, I don't even know where to look for the eggs. <laughs> what is the story behind the scorched uh, graffiti on the back of the map? Uh, well, I was streaming while I was designing this map, and people told me to write my name. <laughs> uh-huh. So... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot to take it off, so it's kind of just there now. Leave it. It's Leave it. Good. It's amazing. <laughs> um, where did you guys get off to? Right. All right. There's Mummy. Can't miss her. She's got the big Hydra. Yeah, I just still kind of went up towards the middle, towards the floating islands here. I don't know where Mary and Zam are though. Where did you guys go? I'm on, an, I'm on an owl. I'm heading towards the middle. I was checking one of my secret caves. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Right. So wait, where are you at? <laughs> you mean Heading it's... Toward, oh, I guess we're at the tundra spot. <laughs> I have really bad coordination. <laughs> okay, we're gonna head towards you guys. All right. I see a hydra. Yeah, Quick, find her. Newest. Where is she coming from? Oh, it's really hard to see. Mummy, are you flying with your Hydra? Yeah, I am. Okay. And I'm Code, kind of are you on a, a new mean? 
Uh, a what? Yes, he is. He is. Okay, okay. I see you guys then. We're we're right behind you. <laughs> that way, quick! This way to the secret cave! <laughs> <laughs> oh, we really going? Oh my gosh, exclusive! <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know if they're going to take us, but I'm totally going to look for it. Hold on. I'm just following Sit down here. Bubblegum here. There's about five to ten caves per world. Um, I actually eggs spawn in them, but sometimes they do. Are these the caves? These are not caves. These are like little outcrops. No. Caves are like, I can show you one from here. I know where one is, but I kind of hide them in the terrain a little bit. So you actually have to walk through the terrain to find these hidden caves. <laughs> Every little shadowy part, I'm just jumping into. I'm like, there it is. No, that's not it. There it is. No, that's not it. <laughs> so it's it's right here if you oh, can oh, find it. Get it. <laughs> Wait, is this? Oh, I've been in this cave. This is just one of the caves more centralized. Your See, dragon's this... about to die. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that one of my dragon eggs came from that cave. Okay. I should probably not take like the biggest dragon I have to come down here. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I like the owls or the, the raptor dragons to take in when I'm going yeah. looking for eggs just so it's easier to see around me. That's what I like about the actual caves and terrains. They're actually designed for the owls. Look how the the holes and the cave walls just seem to be like perfect habitats for them. Yeah, exactly. Hmm. I see you alert. <laughs> oh my gosh, that thing is fast. Uh, yeah, that is so fast. I thought that was a drake from a little ways away, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny on that. It's hilarious. So wait, is, chicken. is this actually faster than it's supposed to be, or...? Uh, that one is supposed to be quick enough to outrun a drake and get away from it on foot. Like a bird. But the drake is, it's, the drake is slightly faster, so if you, if you mess up and can't take off, then the drake will be able to snatch. And this is a drake? Yep. All right. Here's, an, here's another curveball one, actually. Um, so, will there be a class of dragons that are amphibious meant to be in water? And then, if so, will you separate out the ability to go into water? And will lava ever be uh, damaged eventually? So, that's three questions. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Okay, so the first question, um, our Discord is really pushing for the underwater world next. Yes. Yeah. And what, I, what I'm thinking is, I don't think water dragons will have any special effects underwater, just because I haven't planned for collection zones to be underwater, so it wouldn't serve much of a use. But mm -hmm. the aquatic dragons will resemble creatures such as like whales or koi fish. Hor horse, um, horse. Uh, horse, dragon, hor uh, dragon, uh, dragon, horse, um, seahorse, seahorse, yes. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be perfect, but, horse, horse dragon. And I'm thinking they'd be able to fly just like any normal dragon, but just have those special fish-like features that would differentiate them greatly. Um, I forgot the other question. <laughs> Oh, okay. So that was the uh, aquatic question. Are you um, going to separate? Lava. Are you going to separate dragons from being able to go into the water? Because right now our dragons can go in the water. If you happen to make the uh, dragon underwater dragons, will you separate out so other dragons can't go in the water? Uh, personally, I don't know Sam's opinion on this, but. I would say like normal dragons would just sit on the water while the aquatic ones would be able to more like go through them and go to the bottom of it, but nothing really that special. Okay. Um, I think the only separation of dragon species that we'll have is still the land dragons that can't fly versus any of them that do fly. Gotcha. Yeah. 
And then the final question. The third, yeah, the third one was in regards to the lava volcano. Um, I've got a few things about that, but I think I've probably mentioned them in the, the Discord already. The first being, will the lava uh, eventually have damage if you touch it or swim in it with yourself, with your uh, character or your dragons? Damn. <laughs> Can so... Lava. Programming wise, yeah, I can do that. Uh, but we haven't really spoken about it uh, as a game design thing, so not sure if we want the environment to be too hostile for them for people who are exploring. But then again, the volcano world should be for like advanced users anyway, so it could be another way to make it a dangerous place to go. No, right, of no offense, other players make it a hostile environment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're, they're a bigger threat than a lava waterfall. <laughs> um, the other thing... Uh, Alright, uh, okay, as far as the game sounds and ambience are concerned, um, who composed all the music for the game? Is it Beastlick or is it someone else? Uh, nobody. I've actually just been using um, Purple Planet Royal... Royal Free music for now. Royalty Free? Yep. Yeah, Royal we haven't i mean made enough revenue previously to hire someone to do the music but i think now we're at a pretty good spot where we could hire someone to do the music for us and i have a few people in mind already like beast Lake or director who i've worked with previously so i i definitely want each world to have its own feel because mm -hmm. right now i think they're all using the same music right now mm -hmm. yeah Whoa, hello. What about yes, more more dragon interactions, such as petting, uh, playing catch, um, growls, sound effects of that nature? Right. Uh, I really want petting <laughs> just because of the reactions that they already have, and I think that would be really a cute feature. But also, I do want players to be able to jump on their dragon and roar at each other and each dragon have its own specific call kind of sound so i i definitely think that could be a future update that would be amazing um are you limited to whatever textures roblox has and whatever uh to oh i just got disconnected yeah so did i, I did. what was that <laughs> i don't know it seems to be whatever happened earlier also Error code 277. We so all, got all four of us just got disconnected? Time. I would say that yeah. is not a programming bug on your end. So that's a Roblox yeah. thing. Oh, I wonder if they're doing an update. Maybe they are. Well, I'll see if we can get into another public lobby. And yep, me uh, and uh, Mary. <laughs> I keep wanting to yep. say the name wrong. We're, we're in the same game. Mummy, there's Mummy. Oh, look. <laughs> and alert, are you joining? Yeah, I got a load the page. Gotcha. Wow, this space is really pretty. They have fences all around it. I like this one. Oh, I, we're, I'm going to have a look. I like when people actually use flowers and plants and trees. I think that's really, really cute. Oh, wow. Uh, depending on how many of items that they use does that increase its cuteness at all no <laughs> sometimes you, you sometimes. can't have you can't have a hundred crystals and be cute you just i think I, this is the cutest hundred crystal base you've ever seen <laughs> um i could go through yeah. and rotate each one by like 90 degrees that way each crystal looks different um you know I love the fact that we can just be on our dragon and run around and collect things, even in the seated on the dragon. Uh, although the mobs Ten. tend to um, so. not like that so much and try to attack. <laughs> yep. Ken Jonas45 yeah. is like freaking out. He's like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, Code Primate, are you recording? Yes. <laughs> but did you see? He's like, right now? Yes. Right now. But did... 
did you see? You're so cryptic, Kai. Oh, my money's gone back to normal. <laughs> the creators are here. The creators of the game. And Mummy. Another big YouTuber. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I know. It's <laughs> like, <laughs> no biggie. <laughs> And he goes, he's going back to, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, this is my first time I've ever been. <laughs> so, is, is there anything that you want to plug that's, or, I know you don't really want to reveal stuff, but is there anything that you two want to share with the fans of the game? Um, yeah, I mean, I think for fans who use Discord, it's a really great idea to join our server. Just because we like to have our community participate in future updates and we do a lot of polls and votes for the next update and we like to do what the community wants us to do next. Mm -hmm. So like the next world, we kind of let our community decide and they really want the underwater world. So we're going to go ahead and do that next. Um, Amazing. Nice. Yeah. I'm, I'm uh, so we, excited. You have lots of plans for the game just because it's so early, it's so young, and it's only been out for maybe three weeks now. Yeah. So there's definitely a lot that we have planned and that we want to do. And we definitely want to keep close ties with the community just to keep everything in order and on track. So if we change something, it's not a huge disaster. Uh, we will definitely put a link for people to join the Discord for Sony Studios uh, yes. below in both our um, descriptions. Link to Dragon so, Adventures Discord in both of the descriptions. Link to our videos, each other, in the descriptions. Yeah. Uh, what about your stream? What do you stream on? Do you stream on um, uh, YouTube or do you stream on Twitch? I, I stream on Twitch, yeah. So. Uh, same with hers. She'll have a, a link to her Twitch down below. Um, Alert, what do you do? I post things in the Discord, so personally, I've had bad experience with people watching programming streams because they get bored or don't understand. I would totally watch mm -hmm. your programming streams. <laughs> it, it totally yeah. like geek out on that. <laughs> I've, like, been, Dude, I've been considering it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been considering restarting the programming streams, but for now, Mostly just check the development channel. Oh, wait a second. Did you see this guy's uh, wings? Yeah, these are the force field. You get these with the material potions. And oh, that's yours. <laughs> I have an opportunity to buy a primary material for my dragon. 50,000, though. 48, close. Have, have either of you managed to have any mutated dragons? Um, I'm not entire. I'm pretty sure I do, but I'm not sure. Like, I'd have to go through them all and try and figure out: is that standard or is that a mutation? I'm like, is my Hydra got any? Let me equip it. That one? No, I don't know. That one didn't. I think we already established that. Uh, unequip. Uh, oh, I need to feed this one. <sighs> Primary material is 50,000. I'm at 49,335. And I'm still a little ways away from collecting. So. Alright, so. Well, the uh, will shuffle itself in 26 minutes. You got about that long. Oh. This is my hottest dragon. This is chili. <laughs> chili is. So oh hot. my goodness. I love chili. I'll never get rid of this dragon. Yeah, I don't care. If this is what we call a ketchup dragon. A ketchup dragon. <laughs> it's like red on red, isn't it? It's But it's super hot. I love it. I, I wonder what texture would look good on this, actually. I don't think I should change it, because it's got... It's so good the way it is. Let's see, it's con... I, I could ruin it. Concrete? For the uh, the main texture for like the legs and stuff. Yeah, you can barely see it though on the brightness of it. Like the wings are not concrete. What are those? What is this? 
The wings are uh, plastic. Plastic. Smooth plastic? Yeah. I don't think it's smooth plastic. Smooth plastic <laughs> wouldn't really be too visible. Maybe. Oh, right. It's got texture. I'm trying to look at his tail back and forth, back and forth. So he's got concrete blue on horns, horns and legs. Yeah. And I think that finishes out the textures. Well, you can see the, for the uh, force field wings through the wings of this, this dragon. It looks really cool. Yeah. My moth is <gasps> oh, actually mutated as well. You can see it has little bumps along the tail, and that's a mutation for the moth dragon. Oh. Well, see, hey, this well. one doesn't have any tail bumps on it. Oh, I see the bumps. That's cool. Wow. Is, I haven't really... Okay. <clears throat> okay. Well, I'll bring out Taffy and have a look. Does this one have any mutations? Programming-wise, what Taffy. makes a mutation? This one? Mutations are, uh, basically, they're modeled on the dragons by default, and then they're removed if they don't have it, which there's a 5% chance for each mutation. Gotcha. So each dragon has a preset mutation that should happen if you hit the 5%. Oops. Yeah, and then if not, we just delete it on spawn so we don't add any extra, like, physics onto the assembly. Gotcha. Um, any chance, is there anything that the player can do to initiate or help a mutation to happen? Not right now, but we've been discussing adding mutation potions. Nice. Yeah, people in our Discord really want one. But I think because it's so rare, it would probably be a very expensive potion. I would love to have an all pink dragon. Like all three primary colors are the exact same hot pink color, like uh, in in lumber. <coughs> <laughs> uh, oh, and um, trading dragons. Will you be able to trade dragons eventually, or maybe even sell dragons? Soon, I think they said after they've got most of the core programming done in the game. Oh, yeah, sorry. well, trading um, will bring trading your dragons and trading items, but we won't let people trade their currency just because we had some oopsies earlier, and a few we know a few users ha who have billions of coins right now, wow. <laughs> so we don't want them to be able to transfer that into the economy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Sorry, yeah. I'm, raising, I'm raising my hand. Um, How did players get a billion or so more coins? They uh, found a glitch with the potions, and you would you were able to sell them for twenty five thousand for a fifty thousand one, so they would dupe them with each other. Oh my gosh! And just not sell them, but we fixed that already. So um, there is a money cap that's inside Lumber Tycoon too. So even if you were to get more than a certain amount, it would never let you save more than 20 mil. That uh, is definitely interesting. Thoughts? Thoughts? Hmm? Yeah, hmm? I don't so. see any reason for a money cap. Well, so the, like, two billions could not come in to the account. Yeah. Yeah, so with uh, money cap, I feel like if we were to add that, we'd still want to wait for the economy to stabilize itself so we know like what the upper maximum will be, because right now we're just kind of watching how to... I gotcha. <clears throat> and, uh, also for the people with much currency, uh, we're going to pretty much just like soft add them from the trading system so they can't actually do anything with that. Sweet. That's good. Oh, sorry. I think I glitched out someone's dragon just by jumping over it. <gasps> I love this one. So I glowy. have the ability for three dragons. I got the VIP pass. Sorry. <laughs> Yay. I got that too. This has been awesome. Um, what about a shift to run pass? Uh, I think... It would be free if there was shift to run at oh. Sam. This is something that Sam would do. I mean, we've already have people telling us that walk is slow. Um, so I, I would definitely not mind a 
shift to run. I think it would be really helpful, especially if you're trying to snatch an egg with one other person who's right behind you. It would be really nice to have that shift. Yeah, if uh, we were to add shift to run, we would still let VIP keep their plus five walk speed. So, yeah. Ooh, it wait. Could work. So I have a faster run speed now. Yeah, with VIP, you're faster than everybody else. Oh, <gasps> yay! I might just have foot races with people and bet them money once the trading system comes <laughs> in. <laughs> uh, hold on. There was something in your tweets. Let me go to your tweets and replies. While you're looking at that, I can tell you that another very requested feature is being able to play more with your friends. So a co-op experience where both of you have a male and a female dragon and you can co-breed those dragons and each of you is rewarded with an egg. And oh, that'd be... you get dragons together. Uh, that'd be really good. Unless you're able to sell off eggs. Would you be able to sell eggs? You won't be able to sell eggs, but you'll be able to actually store them in your inventory pretty soon. So if you just want to explore and find a bunch of eggs and then come back, rather than going out, getting one, coming back, and repeating that, you'll be able to have an inventory full of them. As we saw on Mummy's live stream, uh, whenever she went out to go see the Tundra and ended up having to backtrack three times, no, two times because she had found eggs both times that she went out. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome, by the way. That was a very cool one. Um, I've just become invisible, though, I think. Okay, I can't find the tweet, but I remember the gist of it. And you said, would you guys like to have swords in the game? So if your dragon gets defeated, you still have a way to defend yourself. Right. <laughs> so this came up when I randomly went to the jungle world and I was testing out the new Drake speed because we buffed its speed in a pretty recent update. And I had combat with another player who was a Drake. And we both died at the same time, or our dragons died at the same time. And we were both standing there like, now <laughs> what? It was, it, was really, it was really awkward. So I thought, wow, it would be so nice if we could just hash it out with a knife right then and there. And, See who would have won that. So I I think swords will be a possibility, but it won't do nearly as much damage as the dragons do. It'll just be for those cases where two dragons die and you have to battle each other. That would be pretty cool. Like the sword doesn't actually show up until both dragons are eliminated at the same time. And then both owners get a sword. That'd be cool. Pretty much. Or just work the way a fishing rod does, but some way to quickly equip it so you're prepared for battle. Uh, like that? Yes. Ideally, we'd want it to be even faster because, I don't know, for me, the, adrenal the adrenaline was really pumping and I was like, oh my gosh, I can't equip a dragon fast enough and... It it was just five seconds of awkwardness. She got her dragon and I died. <laughs> <laughs> I she... crashed and I can't get back in. <laughs> oh no. Mommy, no. Should we all reboot? Well, I mean, we're at... We're at but right at an hour. Oh, that's probably a good spot. But we kind of need to get together for that too. Um... Be two server slots. Yeah, there's only six people in this server. All right, let me try one more time. Tally port failed. Server is full. Your code seven seven two. Uh, do you want I to feel do like a... Roblox is lying to us tonight. Do you want to do a refresh? And then, actually, if you just join us, three of your friends are in here, so you should join the server. Just do a regular I'd... join. I did do a regular joint and it just threw me into an empty server. Oh, not an empty one, but a different one. I'll try again now.
And while you're doing this, I always check out the descriptions down below for different links and things. Oh, I hit the subscribe button on our channels and the, the like buttons and stuff. Awkward, work. awkward silence here as we try and finish up. <laughs> So how about that social anxiety, huh? Am I right? <laughs> Who has that these days, honestly? <laughs> Dead air is nothing wrong with it. We can sit here for hours and talk about nothing and have a lot of fun. That's what this game is good for. Just playing and having fun. Yes, it's very, like, no offense, there's some grindy parts, especially when you're trying to make an entire crystal um, farm. But it does, it's very much, hey, maybe I want to go fishing today, or maybe I want to go um, searching for eggs, or maybe I just want to sit here and breed and feed my, my dragons. There's very much a lot of stuff to do. A lot of things were thought of in the building of this. And I personally wanted to thank you guys for coming up with this idea and making this game happen, because it's, it's amazing. Yeah, it's fantastic. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And also thank you for indulging us and answering questions and just sharing your awesome new game. We love it so much. We're addicted. Everyone else is addicted. Brilliant. Lots of more videos coming coming your way. I might have to play a Sam. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. Sam for life. Sam per life. It's my uh, alternative character that doesn't have anybody following it into games. Right. <laughs> I, I could pay with cute bunny myself. fluffs. <gasps> Cheap, or uh, what, cute bunny fluffs and uh, Sam per life. Sam per life. Dragon Adventures. Yeah, we could like do a like a like a brand new one from tutorial stage, <laughs> like a role play. They were they were brother and sister over in Lumber, and their father Defaultio, um, you know. <laughs> <laughs> It was hilarious. Anyway. Mommy, are you still not able to get in? No, I, and even though it said six of eight players, I just could not get in. Every time I went in, it said requesting server, and it would put me into an empty server, and now it's full still. So we can uh, we can do a VIP server if that would help for the ending. Yeah, let's uh, let's go join your VIP. And All right, uh, hang on. let's see. Let me just. Um... I need to be invited to the VIP server. Um, we'll toss the link in... Oh, Wait, does the link right. work or do you have to do... A link will work as long as I get. Okay, I'm copying the link. And I'm just going to put it in here. And I've added, added you guys to the private server. So... I'm in. Alright, mine's loading. Here we go. And now we actually have an empty uh, plot to just stand on, like, without dragons or whatever, which is nice. And if we're in an empty plot, I can I can totally put the caption, the devs deleted my base and I don't know why. <laughs> With the devs standing there. <laughs> a big hit, like, oh man. Billions of views. Devs deleted my... <laughs> And here's why. <laughs> I'm so poor right now. I've got 4,000 coins. But that's good because um, I'm going to use my potion on my new hey. dragon, hopefully. Should be about time to collect again. Uh, oh, I only have 100 seconds left. Okay, so we'll go do outro, and then I'll collect again, and then I can use materials to change my base. Or change my materials. Change dragons. Dra dragons, blah, blah, blah. Your color change this, that. <gasps> wow, I think I have a really glowy... I do. My dragons, look at it. Did you my get prim... a neon I material? I got a neon, and I haven't changed it. I've got a neon on the body, look. It's awesome. No way. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's neon. Yeah. 
I'm, oh my gosh, it's amazing. So all I will do on this is change, so the wings are tertiary, is that right? Or what? Yes, or secondary. wings are usually tertiary, and secondary is usually the underbelly. Okay, now I don't want to change the underbelly, I love that. But I've got a neon! Oh my gosh, a neon dress! Oh wow, that is amazing. So are you able to choose which materials you're wanting to change? That's what the primary, secondary, and tertiary for. Those are the targeting potions, where the shuffle is just all three at once. Oh man. Okay, so in the shop I only see primary and tertiary. It's tertiary yeah, the, the shop? shop rotates every hour. Oh gotcha. man, if I okay. hadn't bought that, I would have been able to buy the tertiary. Oh man. <laughs> oh. It looks. It, I, mean, I like it. It looks awesome. No, I love the neon and I love the purple, but I'm going to change out the wings. So I am definitely going to change out the tertiary. So wait. Does it change the color? Like yeah, the color. Yeah, if you get the uh, the color potion, it will. Yeah. Will it change all three of the colors at one time, or can you choose which one it changes? Yeah. So each of the like so material, there's three different ones, and then there's a total shuffle. The total shuffle um, is cheaper for both color and material because it just randomizes your dragon again. Gotcha. And the targeted ones are expensive, so you can kind of like customize your dragon very specifically. Oh, so I can pick my colors. Not, no, you can't pick them. It's just that you can target like which type of like uh, which type of body part is being. Okay, so uh, I always go back to references of lumber. In Lumber Tycoon Two, I can create uh, a pink car, but only at like a five percent chance of every thousand cars that's created. Right. Right. <laughs> so. Yeah. In order for me to get a pink car, that's a one-shot, boom, everything's pink. In this, I'm going to be spending 50,000 coins every time to change one color to eventually, hopefully, get pink on everything? Yeah, that's how it is right now. Or if you get something in, like, the wild, that's, like... If you get something where the primary color is already pink, then it's cheaper for targeting specific ones, because you only have to do two. Gotcha. <laughs> It's like that chili, chi <clears throat> that chili dragon that I've got that's really like hot. There's very little color difference between the primary and the secondary color. Uh, I think. Oh no, it's primary and a tertiary color. So um, yeah, I got really lucky on that. So if I wanted to, I can just change out this, the, the spikes on it. I'm and hiding make it underneath color. your dragon's wing. Oh my god. I can see you though. <laughs> oh okay, okay. Gosh. Before we go another hour, because I totally could, um, let's head down to a blank plot. And stand right in the middle. And we're missing one. Where, where do you? Where did you go? <clears throat> I there. was growing my moth. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> Let wow. me let me put these away. <laughs> there we go. Shuffle down, shuffle down. There we go. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Amazing. Yeah, oh, this yeah, is yeah. Be okay. Such a good screenshot. Three. Uh, why two, does it make me look one, like I'm looking two. the wrong place? <laughs> I don't know. Awesome. Alert's got a huge smile on his face. That's awesome. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Dragon Adventures with me, Heath Askins, Code Primate. Myself, I'm Amazing from Amazing Gaming. And our two special and amazing developers and builders and game game creators, uh, Erythia and Alert Coder F, also known as Mary and Sam. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things that we're supposed to call out at the end of the videos. All their games and links and, and stuff is going to be in the bottom of ours. Go subscribe to Mummy. Subscribe to mine. Did I miss anything? The Twitch as yeah. well. The Twitch. The Twitch. And uh, also, please join the uh, Sono um, Discord channel. Yes. That would be really cool. Join oh. it. Join the community and help contribute to the community for Dragon Adventures. That would be fantastic. 
and the game link will be in the description down below as well. Completely yeah. forgot about that. But that's that's it. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. We'll talk to you very soon. Outro. Outro. <laughs> oh no, I totally forgot the button. Outro. Thank you.